When you're passing through Mobile, our next stop on our one take trip is something you cannot miss. Turn the car around because you have to see this behind me. It is the USS Alabama. Now, here's a few fun facts for you. Did you know that the ship was actually built for the Navy? It's 680 feet long. That's almost the length of two football fields. And it also weighs 45,000 tons. Now, the USS Alabama was commissioned in 1942 and earned nine battle stars during World War II. Now, rather than being scrapped after war, like most American battleships, the USS Alabama became an anchor attraction for Mobile's Battleship Memorial Park in 1965. Now that you know a little bit of history, let's go hop on board. All right, joining me now is the wonderful Rhonda Davis. She is the Director of Sales and Marketing for the USS Alabama Battleship Memorial Park. Do I say ahoy? Yes, please. I love it. So much fun. Thank you for letting us up here. We're right now on the second deck of the ship. We are. So cool. And what's so interesting about this, Rhonda, and I'd love for you to tell us more, at one point, 2,500 men were on this boat, and they like to call it a floating city. Tell us a little bit about why it was called the floating city. Well, you know, a lot of people don't realize that the crewmen that served aboard the ship had more than one job. So they had their war battle stations, and they had their job aboard the ship. So the ship has everything from our medical sick bay area that has x-ray and a dentist and an operating room to a bakery, garbage disposals, a laundry, uh, men that did ironing and pressing and sewing. We had a print shop. We had a photography's, uh, photographer on the ship permanently, and he had his own dark room. So it was a floating city. Everything they needed was here, including an ice cream bar that we call the Gita. Unbelievable. What's so cool is that you can see lots of that as you go throughout this beautiful ship. But I'm curious, you know, there are a lot of different things you can see. One of the things that you suggest people have to see is the engine room. A big ship needs an engine. Tell me a little bit about that. So the battleship had four different engine rooms, but that we only have one opened. So in the engine room, you'll find a big coffee urn where they made their own coffee down there. And the men kept the chickens in the engine room. So they had pet chickens that laid egg, fresh eggs for the ship. So the engine room really is something that the men love to see because they want to know how the, how the battleship was fueled and how it operated. So that is one of the main requests from the men. How cool, and you know, of course, bring your children out here because it's a piece of history, but you also get to go back into the time when these sailors were actually doing these jobs. Tell me a little bit more about that ice cream shop because I know the kids would love it, but also the adults probably will love it as well. Absolutely. You know, that was one of the highlights of the ship. And it made the, you know, it made the crewmen have a taste of home. You can absolutely see where they stored the ice cream, how they churned the ice cream, and how it was served. And of course, all the seating that you would have to feed crews. So interesting. Now, another cool place exhibit that you all have here on this ship has to deal with something with a hologram, the divers exhibit. Tell me all about that. So the divers exhibit is our first foray into high technology. Ooh. The divers on the ship were sent down to inspect the hull of the ship after every battle engagement. So when you go in, you'll meet one of our World War II historical re reenactors. As a hologram. As a hologram, who will be talking to the captain of the ship, talking to the diving crew, and talking to you. He'll explain how the air compressor worked. You'll be able to see what a diver suit looked like, and it's displayed at the bottom of the ocean. So the children love coming and seeing that and hearing the story of our divers. That is so cool. And some more fun facts about this awesome ship, everyone. Get this, did you know that it was actually used in the movie USS Indianapolis, Men of Courage, starring no one other than Nicolas Cage, also the movie Under Siege. And what's cool is that this ship has a nickname, the Mighty A? The Mighty Where A. Where does that come from? So the Mighty A, this ship was quite legendary during World War II. She was the heroine of the Pacific. During World War II, the Alabama did not lose one life to enemy fire. Wow. She was the lead ship into Tokyo Bay after the surrender on the USS Missouri. So she was sent in ahead of the fleet to lead the fleet in for peacekeeping time. So when the sailors were assigned to the USS Alabama, they were excited because she had such a great legend and reputation. 
and we are just so proud of her. And yes, she is still the Mighty A. That is so cool. What's up, Mighty A? You are nice and sturdy, <laughs> everyone. Now, before we go, I want to ask you this one question. You know, like I said at the top, this is a park, but the ship isn't the only thing that people can see on this park. Please tell me a little bit about what else we can see. I believe there's a submarine? Yes, we have the USS Drum, and she is also quite legendary. She won 12 battle stars during World War II. She's on the property. She and the Alabama are two of Mobile's National Historic Landmarks, so you'll get to visit her. And then in our aircraft pavilion, we have our collection of aircraft and military vehicles, including a truck from the Red Ball Express, which is a great story unto its own, and some of our World War uh, I airplanes and Vietnam era airplanes. So cool so because you'll see a lot. the ship really focuses on World War II, but again, there are some things Absolutely. about World War One on this park as well. It is yes. awesome, Rhonda. Thank you for joining me this thank morning. You for Once again, us. ahoy. And hey, for more information about the USS Alabama, they are located at 2703 Battleship Parkway right here in Mobile, Alabama. For more information, log on to ussalabama.com or call 1 800 Gangway. That's 1 800 426 4929.